how the car relates to us in our lives. Will it stay like that? There's literally no rules. Accomplished, did I say that? Wait a minute. How the hell is this a Xiaomi product? Is this the Xiaomi I knew five years ago? We're gonna look at cars. How cool is that? This is it. Wow, cool color. Just looking at the proportions on the car. Very balanced, very balanced car. This is a model you guys made? This is production car. That's really nice. May I? Really nice interior, super intact. Where my eye wants to take this thing is make a long tail out of it. This comes down to about here. This line here and this line here. There's a ton of radius on that thing, but you don't see it. And guys, you can be very proud of this car. It's a really excellent design. It's not over-designed. Four years ago, I think I was in a Xiaomi store and, and I looked at all the products. And the products are uniformly super geometric, super clean, ultra simple, non-emotional in that sense. But cars are emotional. I see this vehicle for Xiaomi as being an emotional entry point. It's kind of crux point in there. How you perceive things impacts you. Space, light, hearing, touch. It looks drivable, it looks like a driver's car. We'll find out when we drive it. Go for it. Oh, there's an EV rocket effect about it. Which evokes well-established relationship between the human dream of commanding the horse and the driving pleasure. What was the one? What's your mind? That's my, my word for the day. <laughs> that was fun. My first reaction was, I think it fits the Xiaomi world where they're going. We're trying to get into a world automobile market and prove our competency in making a vehicle. It's something to think about. Your unknown to me is future auto. Your greater unknown is humanity and tech. Do you think the relationship between cars and people has changed because of this new era of EV? That's a good question. The new Xiaomi experience is going to get you out of the machine age. The future of humanity is engaging people. I hope they can use some of the challenge aspects that I've learned over time to rise above the game as they see it. You know, this is the right start. Okay, what's next?